guys, I'm back today with a video on a brand that I have done a few reviews on before, but I'm just gonna preface this whole thing by saying my, the product itself seems to be good, but there are some definite issues going on with possibly the components and some other things. So, the brand that I'm talking about is Jaclyn Cosmetics. I know, I'm, I'm actually dreading posting this review already <laughs> because it's not 100% positive and I, I'm very nervous about people being upset about it. So, in any case, let me just break things down as best as I can. So, first things first, liquid lipsticks are $20 a piece and the lip liners are $18 a piece. Honestly, I honestly think it's best if I probably just lay out all the negatives that I have for you guys first. Number one being that I have tried to reach out to their customer service a few times about the actual ingredients. They have them listed on their website at this point. However, for me, I do have food allergies and so I tried to find out what the fragrance was listed inside of their product because I like to make sure ahead of time that I'm not going to have an allergic reaction to something. So, before the Launch, they were like, hey, we can't give you the ingredients, which I thought was very strange. And then after the launch, they were like, hey, we'll get back with you, um, you know, once the lab gets back with us. But then I kept checking back and haven't heard anything back from them. And then today I actually emailed them as well because I actually had one of my, and it's a little cleaner now because I've touched it a bunch, but one of my liquid lipsticks actually came with lipstick all over it, which was kind of strange. Um, now, on the other hand, I did watch Manny MUA's review and I didn't have any issues with my lip liners. None of them were like cracked or any peeling or anything like that. But this was dirty, so I thought that was kind of strange. And then the other thing that it was negative, I guess, that is that the component on the liquid lipstick is not good. Um, like this one right here, I don't know if you can see, like, it's ready to come off. And that was exactly how it was the second I pulled it out. I do it on camera. You guys can see that as I'm doing my lip swatches. And to be honest with you, after I kind of went back and looked through them, they are on the more breakable side. So I don't know what the deal is there, if it's just my batch or if somebody else has had the same problems or maybe only certain colors. I have actually not swatched these yet on my arm. So as I go through them, I'm going to make note of which ones you know, might be more faulty. If you have any issues with those components as well, I will let you know as I'm doing them. So for me, I'm just going to flat out say, yes, the product is nice inside. And that is something to note that I do think that this is a really nice formulation. And I've put on, you know, 17 between lip liners and liquid lipsticks. I've put on 17 of them and I still feel like my lips are all right. I mean, they do have a little bit of give to them. As you can see, like my lips stick together a little, but it's not like that awful kind of sticky thing. So the formulation is nice, but do I think for what you're getting, is it worth it? I think they're overpriced. I think the component on the inside with the actual lipstick applicator should be better. And I think that the lip liners are overpriced. They are very creamy, they work really nicely, but I still think 18 is steep. One of my last negatives would be that I think that they should have offered this as a bundle to people, maybe for a slightly lower price or something else because pretty much everything sold out like instantly, which is fine. I'm really happy about that because I, I never wish any bad on anybody, especially to her, to anyone. But I do agree with a lot of the things that other people are saying when they talk about it being stressful for the launches. It is. I mean, to go through and try to add 15 individual lip, liquid lipsticks and then, you know, 12 lip liners and then hope that they don't sell out and then they kept selling out as you check out. I mean, it is definitely a disheartening kind of experience. So at the very least, even if there couldn't have been a discounted bundle, which I definitely think there should have been, I wish there would have been an option to buy everything at once. I think that would have been the fairest thing to do for all the buyers out there. In any case, I did get 12 of the liquid lipsticks and I did get five of the lip liners and I will swatch all of those on my lips and then I'll swatch all of them on my arm. And I do apologize because I <laughs> thought that my eye look was gonna be a lot more neutral than it ended up being because I wanted to, you know, do something fairly neutral with all of the lips as I was swatching them. But it turned out that a lot of the shades that I used were actually much more purple toned surprise I mean here you're seeing it right now anyway and my skin still does not look good from the allergic reaction I had so I apologize my skin is having a moment but in any case I just wanted to be upfront with you guys about my experience and what I thought I think that customer service definitely needs some work and that is a big deal and I think that if you're spending that much money on that you shouldn't be getting them dirty or damaged in any case hopefully I'll hear back from customer service until then here's some swatches for you guys
show you guys that this is the wand on this one and this is the shade feisty and it is ready to break off like but I just thought to show you guys that I'm gonna try to apply it but I don't know if this will break it off or stayed on but I also had to like baby it like really baby it and um, I'll try and email them about this but since I haven't heard back about anything else I don't know if I will hear back about this to be honest with you guys Somebody's curious these are no drama beauty stencils and they are the stencils that I've used in the past but now they have different designs so I will definitely link them below so you can check them out. They were kind enough to send these to me so I did not pay for these just in case. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead, I wasn't going to swatch these live, I was going to just swatch all of these like in and then show you like what it looked like afterwards. But since I had some issues with the components, I do want to swatch them live. I'm going to put it in fast forward and then just talk about the colors at the very end just because I want to make sure that no other components are broken so you guys can see what's happening in live time.
Okay, admittedly, I did not do the best job with these stencils. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so here is what they all look like. Where they go in is starting with Get Real. This is just kind of a peachy nude with more of a rosy undertone to it. The second one in is Empowered, and that's definitely more of a, well, that's more of a peachy neutral without the pink undertone. This shade right here is called Confidence, and I have to say that Get Real, Confidence, and the shade Truth all look kind of similar to each other. These two look pretty similar, though. Um, so this is the shade, so again, this is shade Confidence, and this is like a peachy pink undertone nude. Shade over is called Be Brave, and that's more of a mauve -y kind of nude. The next shade over is called Crabby, and that is also kind of a pinkish reddish undertoned peach nude. Guys, yeah, sorry, I screwed this up. So this is the shade Truth, <laughs> and this is the shade Crabby. So Crabby is a red toned nude. And actually what's funny is that the shade that's underneath it, which is actually praline, reminds me of it, but just deeper. Shade over is called Outspoken, and that's a very pink shade. The next shade is called Absolutely, and this is like an orangish undertoned nude shade. And then the next shade is called I'm a Cancer, and this is kind of like a gray toned red. I like that one. And then the next one is called Gratitude which is kind of like a like an orangey brown nude. And the next shade down here is called Be Bold, and that's a really beautiful like reddish brown nude. I mean, it wouldn't be necessarily nude on me, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and then the last shade is called Feisty, and that is like a chocolate cherry shade. Then with the liners that I was able to get, this is the shade Coffee Cake, which is like a brownish undertone nude. The next shade over is called Bourbon, and that's like a purple undertoned nude. The next shade over is called Praline, and that's like a reddish pinkish undertone nude. The next shade over is called Hot Tea, and that's like a purplish brownish undertoned nude. And the last shade is called Toasty, and that is a brown undertoned nude. These were all of the shades that I was able to get with this launch. You will notice when I was going through the video, I was trying to point out which of the components I thought were a little like on the fence there. When I went like this, that meant they were kind of wiggly. And when I went thumbs down, that meant they were not good, which only one was really not good. And that was right here, the very last one. There were a few that were a little wiggly though. So just so you guys are aware, I wanted to swatch them in real time with you guys watching to see. Okay, I am back. I swatched everything and thankfully I've had no reactions. Obviously, I was not able to get an answer from anybody to find out and make sure that I was not going to have an issue with it. So but hopefully if you're like me and you are very sensitive, you won't have a reaction to anything either. I didn't notice any of my allergens in the list. The only thing I did not know about was the fragrance and generally I don't have an issue, but sometimes you do and you never know and it's not worth the risk. But I did take that for you guys because I wanted you guys to see what they looked like and I was curious. But now because of my customer service experience and... The actual condition of some of the liquid lipsticks I'm a little more like lukewarm about everything too. so let me again just repeat what I said at the beginning and that is that I do think that the liquid lipstick formula is really nice I mean I would put it I'm trying to think of I'm trying to think of another formulation it reminds me of it's more sticky than any other liquid lipstick I've ever tried I've always had more like dry ones but it reminds me a little bit of ColourPop in a way the original ColourPop liquid lipsticks, although this is a sticky version of that. Um, as far as how it looks on my lips, is it like perfecting? Does it make them look smooth? Not really. I mean, I feel like you can probably see the lines pretty well. Let me get closer. Ignore my terrible skin, please. But as you can see, like my lines are really, really visible. <laughs> All of my lines are really, really visible. So I don't think it does anything that way. It was the same with the lip liners, but I definitely think that the lip liner glides really nicely around the lines of your lip. And I'm not trying to have a completely negative review, but is everything worth it for that price? No, it's not, in my opinion. So, if you were wondering if you should pick this up or if you were going to try and pick it up later, I think if you do pick it up anywhere, pick it up from Ulta. And that way, if you have any issues with your products, you can take it back pretty easily. Now, as far as the actual colors themselves go, I do think that there were a lot of different undertones, which is nice to see, especially when you get a kind of, like, nude collection. I'm not trying to trash her or anything like that. I don't have anything personally against her. Um, 
I try really hard to stay out of people's drama. It's just not my not my jam. I'm not into that. <laughs> I don't need anybody else's stress when I have my own. But for me, if they hit some of those points that I kind of mentioned, or if they go back and they make changes and they fix it a little bit, I definitely think that you guys should give them a shot. And I think you should give them a shot now. Just keep in mind, you may get an item that has maybe lipstick on it or possibly a broken component. So. And then if you need help, you may not be able to get a hold of anybody. And she does have a 1-800 number, but they kind of don't really do anything. So I don't know what they're there for, to be honest. They're like, we can only help you with orders that have been placed, but we can't really help you with the order. So I'm, I kind of feel like that's a little bit pointless. I'm sorry. <laughs> In any case, I know that this review seems really harsh. I don't mean for it to be, but I also go, man, this was a lot of money. And I don't want anybody else to go into like a restock and not have this information. So, in any case, I really hope this review was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below. Please don't hate on me. I'm sorry. You might have got some and they might be perfect. And I hope that they are. Genuinely, I want I want everybody to have good launches. I want everybody to have good products. I want everybody to do well in life and be healthy and well. Uh, unfortunately, that's not always the way it's going to go. But maybe you're going to have a different experience and that is okay too. So, in any case, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. Like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.